So the trends that we see this year at OFC is a large interest in multi-layer design and optimization, as well as network uh, op optimization and automation. Subcommittee 1 has some very exciting invited speakers. We have uh, worldwide carriers such as Comcast, uh, Teliosonera, uh, Reliance Infotel, and we also brought in uh, data center speakers from Equinix and uh, the DECIX, the German Internet Exchange. For Equinix, the, the CTO, Lane Patterson, has agreed uh, to come and talk to us. So we're, we're really looking forward to that paper. Our invited speakers uh, from these carriers is usually, uh, these are highly attended papers where people come and see the kind of challenges and, and uh, optimizations that these carriers perform in their networks, as well as just to see what are the, the everyday problems these carriers face. We have a whole panel on SDN for transport networks in our subcommittee. And we, we are expecting some very exciting speakers for that panel. Uh, we also have the network function virtualization tutorial. And then there's quite a few contributed papers that are, uh, that are using the SDN concept for network automation and optimization. Subcommittee one, the interesting part is because we're network architectural control uh, so the, the interesting part here is how do you get value out of this centralized control? There has been a lot of work in the, recent, in the past years about uh, distributed network control. And here, kind of what is the value that you can extract from a centralized control? And, and we think, and, and so certainly most of the papers we see, the, uh, the centralized control gives you value in multi-layer design. So you have one central entity that knows about uh, multiple network layers and can, uh, can uh, optimize multiple network layers uh, at once. Certainly we have some uh, SDN related papers that are uh, doing uh, optimization in, the, uh, for example, flexible grid. So that's certainly a, a trend that we see. Uh, again, if you have one central entity in the network that knows about how to optimize the network as a whole, flexible grid may be much easier to optimize uh, than with a distributed algorithm, uh, especially in, in mesh optical networks where you have wavelengths going from uh, all kinds of uh, places. Uh, in a mesh fashion through the, through the optical path, uh, it's good to know how to optimize these, these kind of networks.